one of the greatest footballers of all time, is no more. Pele has passed away at the age of 82, but his legacy will live on forever. In our next report, we take a look at what made him so very special. Take a look. Edson Arantes do Nascimento, a rather unrecognizable name, shortened it to Pele, and instantly it became the gold standard in world football. This was a prodigy who helped live up to the hype and became one of the greatest, if not the greatest, in the game. Just as he inspired me to play football, he has also inspired millions of people worldwide, especially in Africa, right? Where television didn't arrive, information didn't arrive. Pele made those boys dream of being someone in life. Nothing better than football, right? So he was a football ambassador in the world. Pele was the spark that enthused a nation mad about football. But in mourning, after a heartbreaking loss in the 1950 World Cup final on home soil against Uruguay. A 17-year-old Pele catapulted the Selesao to their first global title in 1958 with a hat-trick in the semis and then two goals in the final as Brazil thrashed Sweden 5-2. It unleashed an era of domination for Brazil, an aura which is resplendent even today. The flair, the style and the swagger of the Samba men from South America took world sport by storm and it was Pele who became a global celebrity at a time when communication was limited to radio and newspapers only. There are so many things I would like to leave to my fans, friends, colleagues and even to my family. Everything we are given in life, it is because God believes you deserve it. If I have done something that made someone sad because of some victories by Santos, the Brazil national team or even the army team, of course the other side becomes sad. But this is life. My apologies. I thank God for everything I have won in my life. World Cup wins in 1962 and 1970 added to his greatness and most of his records still stand. Pele remains Brazil's all-time leading goal scorer with 77 strikes. FIFA named him Player of the Century in 2000 and a year previously, the International Olympic Committee had voted him the Athlete of the Century. Statistics put his goal tally at 1,281 from 1,363 matches, including friendlies and unofficial matches. There was no World Player of the Year award in his days, and FIFA rectified that error with an honorary FIFA Ballon d'Or in 2013. I grew up watching you play. Um, my first memories of watching football on television were the 1970 World Cup in Mexico with that great Brazilian side, and you, of course, were its star. Uh, one of the greatest players that's ever donned a pair of football boots. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done for us. The man who glided over football pitches and lauded over world football had started to get benched by father time over the last few years. He was diagnosed with colon cancer and underwent surgery in September last year. For the first time in a life well lived, Pele could not shake this illness off. Sports Bureau, we on. World is one.